Today we're going to be talking about some laws that the global elite money-changing bankers actually get passed through their lobbyists and they push it through in many illegal ways but once they get these laws passed that's how they arrest people and that's why we're slaves and before we go into those laws I want to meet you can actually meet some of the idiots involved in this like this idiot here who's a member of the trilateral commission the trilateral commission not even born not even born in f France but he pushes laws through to arrest Frenchmen so this is how stupid the French are now the, f the French are such sheep and so are everybody else the Americans and most of the European we're just sheep now we sit on the couch and we watch the Kardashians and we do as we're told but here we got a man who's not even born in France pushing laws on the French people let's go into some of these silly laws that the global elite money changers get passed. Well one of the laws we just talked about it a little bit that the Lelouch law prohibits hate crimes we're gonna go into a few others the reason why this these laws have come to my attention is because of a interview by a Frenchman called Jean Respy uh, he wrote the book the uh, the camp of saints again uh, Jean Respy he wrote the book uh, the camp of saints and he actually come out and said he's 90 years old he wrote the book in 1972 and he said he would not even be able to write the book today because of these stupid goddamn laws that got passed so can you imagine a guy not even able to write a book because of the laws they're passing and these are the like I say, the global elite money changers pushing these laws on us. Let's go into a couple more. Here's another one. The French law, the uh, Gassault law, however you pronounce it, Gassault. And this law, again, mo uh, these, these three laws we're talking about today are in France. And here, I'm not even sure I understand how stupid this law is. You're not even allowed to question. This is a beautiful thing here. As a... Uh, no way in hell. They don't want philosophers. They don't want thinkers. You, you can't even think. You cannot even question the existence or size of a category. Can you believe this? Who in the right mind would write a law like this? Who in the right mind would obey a law like this? I mean, who in the right mind would let their leaders even pass a law like this? I thought the French people were smart, but obviously they're just sheep. They pass a law where you're not even allowed to question the existence or size of a category of crime against humanity. I mean, who in God's sake even writes some, something like that? Oh, you're not allowed to question me. You're not allowed to question authority. If I tell you ten things happen, you're not able to say, oh no, it was twelve things that happened. I mean, think about it. Just think about the, the wording of this. You're not even allowed to question the existence or size of a category. So if the state tells you that one million people got hurt, but you come up and say, no, you know, my numbers say uh, two million people got hurt. Well, you just broke the damn law. They put you in jail be just because you questioned the existence. So I mean, I can't, even, I can't even go on how stupid this is. I, I don't have the right word to say how stupid this law is. Let's go into one more. So the next one would be like the Perban law. It's basically a per police state law. Uh, most people in America don't know anything about it. Basically, it's just like the RICO laws. The RICO. So what happens is, um, you know what the RICO laws do. The RICO laws, they can just come in and take your houses, your assets. So it's a police state, a police state law. All these laws we're talking about are laws that are made by foreigners, global elite, money-changing bankers, and they force their laws on the countries of Europe and the countries of Ameri in the, in America. And if we just sit around and do nothing, no, these laws will get worse and worse and worse until you will be a slave in your own house if you're not already there. I believe you're already a slave in your house or your apartment but you haven't seen anything yet these laws that the that the money changers are getting passed and they're the, the lobbyist 
uh, like I say, the lobbyists order Obama and they order Hillary Clinton to pass these laws. They're just getting started. They're just getting started. And that's why they laugh at you and me behind the scenes because we they know that we're just not doing anything. We're sitting there watching TV. We're taking our food stamps, our SNAP cards, our welfare. We're sitting there. We're doing nothing about it. And they know. They know they have the upper hand. And they know that there's not a damn thing we can do about it. Well, maybe there is. If you were to join the European tribes of North America today, if you were to tell your friends, and we were to get all the people in this country to join the European tribes of North America, I bet you we could do something. 200 million of us put our foot down. I'm pretty sure we could do something. I don't really have a lot of confidence that everybody will do it, but I know we can get it done. I just don't have the confidence that people will get off the couch and do it. That's too bad.